Uh, Kay Holdsworth asks, I'm doing a lot of studying at the moment and what tea would be good for keeping me mentally stimulated? Okay, well, this is a great question. I'm sure at the moment there's lots of students who are preparing for their um, exams and I'm sure there's lots of people who would love to know uh, the answer to this question. The first thing I'd say is well done for drinking tea, not coffee. Now, um, despite what some people think, I do like the occasional cup of coffee, but there's no question that um, when, whenever we drink loads of coffee at night to keep ourselves awake um, so we can work extra long, long hours or extra hard, what tends to happen is we become very jittery and um, it, it's, not, it's not a good long-term solution. Tea, on the other hand, um, keeps us stimulated, keeps us working, but it also keeps us hydrated. And this has been studied um, several times now that if you, contrary to what some people say, which is that tea will dehydrate you, it does not dehydrate you. In fact, it's the opposite. Tea contributes to good hydration. And that is one of the main things you need. So I would drink, I would drink whatever tea you like, but this is a great, because you need to be comfortable, you need to be in your comfort zone so you can focus on your studies. But this is also a great time to try something new. So I would pick one or two teas that you have without milk, possibly, that you haven't tried. And this is because if you're spending a lot of time at home studying, this is a great time to treat yourself and ring the changes and, and just and, and keep things fresh. Um, so if you normally have Portsmouth tea with milk or a, a traditional standard breakfast type of tea with milk, why not try... Um, a very light, refreshing afternoon tea, such as Lapsang Souchong. Lapsang Souchong is also, in my opinion, the most refreshing tea you can possibly have when it's hot in the summer. So I would say the first extra tea to add to your normal breakfast one is Lapsang. The second tea I would add is not a tea at all, but peppermint. I would add peppermint tea uh, because it's absolutely fantastic for freshening you up, um, keeping your digestion and, and your stomach uh, relaxed and settled. And you're probably going to be fairly stressed and the, the mint will help with that. So that's my advice, Kay. Um, a normal breakfast tea most of the time. Avoid coffee as much as you can. Add lapsang and add peppermint. And I hope that helps and good luck with the revision.